All right, we're joined by six-seeded Chris Crowther, who just defeated Ben Croft in the quarter quarterfinals here at the U.S. Open Racquetball Championships. Chris, uh, how do you feel about your uh, performance just now on the court? Uh, I felt pretty good. I uh, felt good coming to the tournament. Worked really hard all summer, and I expected you know to continue to play the way I've been playing. I played well against Tony last night. And I just thought if I can keep playing like that, I should should be all right, and it uh, worked out pretty well. Uh, Chris, this is your first appearance in the semifinals at the U.S. Open. Uh, how does that make you feel? Uh, it makes me feel good. I've always known I had the, the game to do it, so it's uh, just good to feel feel that I know I belong here. I uh, worked hard all summer, been working hard for years and years. Had some opportunities in years past to have better tournaments and, uh, you know, for whatever reason just wasn't able to get through. But uh, I made some a couple uh, equipment changes and I think just all the hard work, you know, paid off. and. You know, just stay calm and cool and just let it fly. Chris, you look like you're working pretty hard out there. What does, uh, what does a top uh, pro athlete do immediately following a match? Uh, well, that's a good question. I think it varies from sport to sport. Um, basically, what I've been doing, I've just been going back to the hotel, putting my stuff down, going out, getting a nice meal, having a, having a nice beer with my, with my uh, meal every night. And that's kind of the routine I, I, I keep um, stretch out, take a jacuzzi, watch some TV, just relax and do some work. I work full-time job too, so we have a player meeting after this, so it's right back to office work. So it's just fun to go out there and bang around, let some stress out, had a good time. Great. Well, Chris, uh, we appreciate you taking the time, and uh, good luck in your next match. Thanks, Leo. Appreciate it. Thank you.